This is Dave. Who am I speaking with? This is uh, Aaron Springer from the police department. How are you? Oh, how are you? How, how you spell your last name? I'm sorry. It's uh, Springer. It's S-P-R-I-N-G-E-R. Okay, I'm sorry. I just you said it so fast. I didn't. I couldn't make it out. No, Listen, I don't want to take too much of your time or mine, and I, I kind of want to be to the point, but I'm not sure if you're aware of, uh, to, to know how much background I got to give you, but I don't know if you're aware of the couple of stories I put out over the weekend about Sergeant DeFanti. Do you have any any knowledge of them? or? Uh, I was made aware of the, uh, of the information uh, posted on your website earlier this morning. Okay. And currently working through uh, the investigation on our end right now. Okay, which one? Because obviously the, there's the one about his cruiser being stashed away in his garage, or there's the one about his family members, uh, uh, specifically his, his son wearing his department-issued firearm. Is, are you aware of both, or which one are you? I, I am aware that there are pictures and comments posted relative to Sergeant DeFonte's employment and equipment with the police department, the details of which I do not have because I don't have access to... Uh, some social media sites from my work computer. So I'm working with some other uh, units in the police department to help me out with that. Okay. Can you briefly perhaps touch for, for me and some of the followers, you know, just taxpayers overall, not so much about the car issue, because I don't know about you if you have young children or grandchildren or, or you know, uh, the one that's really disturbing to me is the fact that, uh, that you know, he would do something reckless as to, you know, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not a law enforcement officer, but I would think there's certain protocols and policies in place on how to handle and uh, and deal with firearms. You know, department issued firearms, obviously, uh, 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 when, when you're off duty. It, can you elaborate a little bit on what is the policy? I mean, it, 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 looking at the photo, what are your thoughts on it as, as a professional? Well, a couple things that you brought up that I'd like to I'd like to address. First of, of which is I, I haven't seen the photos yet because again I don't have access to those those photos and, and your uh, website through department computers. The second thing is is that uh, if you're making an inquiry relative to policy and or statements about ongoing incidents or investigations, I would have to refer you to the uh, police and public information officer. They, they're the ones that answer media requests. And then finally, um, opinion uh, of mine it hasn't been formulated yet because I'm in the preliminary stage of the investigation. I don't think it would be fair to comment um, on, on what my opinion would be relative to uh, what the photos may or may not contain. I think that's that's probably the, the best answer I could give you on that one right now, Dave. Okay, at, at some point, and I understand that, and I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, uh, you know, drag it on or, or take your time, like I said, but it, it's basically, I mean, what you basically told me is, is a long explanation for a short answer, which is basically you have, you have no comment at this time. Is, is that correct? Well, I think that that's fair from my perspective as, as uh, you know, as a line lieutenant supervisor, given the information was was only shared with me within the last hour and a half, I, I really haven't formulated an opinion. So, yeah, the short answer is I, I don't have a comment right now. It wouldn't be fair. Okay, just to be clear here, uh, to aid you in your investigation, and, and it is lieutenant, correct? That's correct, lieutenant. Okay, I'm sorry, lieutenant. Uh, no, just to, just to be clear here and aid you in your investigation, the you, you've you've referenced several times in this conversation, which by the way I'm I'm, I'm uh, recording. I I know you you're aware of the uh, recording right uh, the right to record not only video photo, but I'm I am recording for my protection and yours this conversation. But um, you've referenced several times uh, my website, and I just wanted to be clear that obviously I was not the photographer who took these photos. These photos are part of public domain. It's the whole, you know, right to uh, privacy, which basically if you put something out on social media like not, all, not only Sergeant DeFanti did on his page, but also his son did. And it was so, in other words, it was sent to me. And obviously, yes, to show what the story's about and what the concerns to citizens and taxpayers should be of, of the fancies, what I believe it to be uh, his reckless and unprofessional and irresponsible conduct. Obviously, I, I then, much like any other media site, even though I'm independent, I obviously, uh, you know, published them on my blog. But just to be clear, they, they originated on his page and his son's page, and they were made public uh, to the public by, by their basically putting it out. It's the old, if you don't want someone to see your... Dirty laundry, don't put it out there. So I just wanted to touch on that so it's clear to uh, to you and whatever investigating officers you have on it. So, um, okay, can you give me some type of like time frame or I mean, what what happens from this point? Then it's it's in the preliminary stages. You said, yeah, I wouldn't be able to comment. Actually, it is in the preliminary stages, as I shared with you a few minutes ago. I, I just became aware of this information with.
within the last hour and a half or so. And uh, it, if you're looking for details of a, of a time frame um, and what exactly an inquiry potentially could be, you know, first of all, I wouldn't be able to fairly answer that question. And second of all, internal investigative procedures are, are really not such that uh, they're shared with, with media. Uh, I, I would really, if you're looking for some insight into things like that policy procedure, uh, I would have to refer you to the public information officer and the office of the chief. I, I wouldn't be able to answer those questions accurately for you, Dave. And, and you and you wouldn't. Be, the last question: uh, you you wouldn't be able to to. Um, <laughs> You know the the part that I'm having a little trouble with, Lieutenant, and I'll be I'll be straight with you here. If you if you know me in my work, you know that I obviously I don't beat around the bush. The the part that I'm having a little trouble with is is understanding how you, sir, uh, a lieutenant, a, a pretty you know high rank in the department, have not seen these photos yet. But in other words, wouldn't it just be kind of a, a natural, uh, almost an expectation that by now you would have seen these photos? Because what I what I wanted to ask you is. Not so much pertaining to in the investigation, and I know how it works. You guys can't release stuff, and I, I get that part. But I wanted to ask you, just as a law enforcement officer, with, with which you are in this community, protecting and serving the community, right? I, I wanted to ask you, you know, obviously, if you saw the photo, it would help me better ask the question. I just wanted to ask, as a law enforcement officer, I, I for example, I don't think you yourself would do something careless as to allow uh, a child, you know, which is his son, to play and post with a, with a gun. That just seems so, by, by a swimming pool, you know, at, at your home. It just seems so out of the, the realm of, of, of responsibility and professionalism. But I, I guess I can't even get you to answer that as a law enforcement officer. I mean, in, in you, not, not speaking for Sergeant DeFancy, which you can't speak for any other man or woman or, or their state of mind at the time. But speaking for you, I, I, can I get you at least to comment on on the fact of what what your thoughts are of a police officer allowing family members to possess, handle, play with, and pose for photos with a department issued firearm. Yeah, I, I understand exactly what you're asking, and again, I, I think I'm going to refrain from comment here. I don't think it's fair to any of the parties involved, especially you know those that are currently under an investigation, the department itself, and or you or your potential readers. If I was uh, if I was quoted, that's why, again, I say that, you know, based on our policy procedures and our rules, that some of the questions you're asking me, I don't really have a lot of um, uh, authority to really answer comprehensively for you. And, again, if, and I appreciate your call, especially your inquiries relative to uh, representative of the Rochester media, which I think uh, is an awesome job of yours and a great responsibility. And that's why, again, I refer you to the public information officer who handles inquiries like this routinely. Can you assure me and, and the taxpayers will will this be will this be looked into, Lieutenant, or or will it be? And again, not for the sake of being sarcastic here, or will it be like, frankly, a lot of people believe, including myself, that a lot of the incidents are are justified or some way, shape, or form swept under the rug? Can, can you give me at least some assurance that the department is taking, including yourself, sir, is taking it serious? And I mean, it, it shows what happens off duty. And, and it's disturbing. I understand you say you, you haven't seen the photo. I, I, I hope that's not only true, but that you will see him soon. Uh, w will this, in fact, be seen through? Well, like I said earlier, when I referenced an investigation in place, I, I don't think there's any other way that I could I could outline or, or try to assure you that we are doing a, a fair, objective, and impartial investigation relative to what RPD's policy and procedure is. And, and I can assure you and your readers, if you're interested in, in putting that on there, that that we will be uh, conducting a thorough, objective uh, inquiry and investigation relative to our PD policy and procedure. Okay. And what was your first name, uh, Lieutenant Springwater? It, no, it's, uh, it's Aaron, A-A-R-O-N. Aaron Springwater. Uh, and the last name is uh, S-P-R-I-N-G-E-R. -E I'm sorry, Springer. I'm sorry. I, I changed sorry. your name around. Okay. Thanks a lot, Lieutenant, and thank you for your call. All right, you're very welcome. Take care, sir. You too, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.